There are soft spots and there are soft skulls and this is neither of them. It's a collection of fluid underneath the scalp, but there are even different types of those. It's important to be able to tell the difference between them because a subgaleal hematoma can be a serious problem and might need some intervention. But if it's a cephalohematoma, then the bleeding tends to be confined within this small space, which is between the skull and this periosteum, which is like the skull's skin, and it's limited by these suture lines, as you can see here. But a caput succedaneum does cross those suture lines and is more localized to an area of the skull rather than being widespread like it would in a subgaleal hematoma. It all happened because of the trauma of birth and this tiny human does have the boggy swelling that crosses those suture lines, meaning that they'd have to be monitored closely for a subgaleal hematoma if this is evolving and spreading. Because finding it early means much better outcomes.